Hello and welcome um, to We Wear Wellness, where I talk about mindset, spirituality, self-development, personal health, personal health, I don't know, basically helping you to become the better version of yourself. So today I want to talk about how to balance your life. Balance is extremely important in my opinion um, to, you know, just live a fulfilled life that's not too extreme in either way because extremes are not very comfortable, right? We all know that if it's too hot or too cold, if you're too full or too hungry, if you're too hyper, you know, if your heart's pounding too much or if you're just too lethargic um, and you just don't want to get out of bed. None of those are really optimal levels, right? You feel the best when you're at balance. So how can you practically balance yourself on a daily basis or just in general, a weekly or monthly basis? I really feel this is one of the biggest things that helps me go to keep going every day, you know, with, with all my work stuff and my business and my side hustles and just taking care of me as well, taking care of my mental health and my spiritual health. Um, because I am a sensitive person and I do struggle with anxiety um, and I and depression as well. And, you know, with all of this, the thing that keeps you going is when you stay in balance. So how do you do that? Well, I'm going to tell you. So balance can show up in any area of your life, whether it's about food or health. Maybe you want to eat very healthy and that's really good, but it's always nice to have that food freedom too, right? And so you can look at your physical health and see, okay, well, are you getting all the nutrients you need, but are you also getting the joy out of food that you would need? So it's like balancing your physical and mental health almost from the same source, which is food. Um, and the same goes with exercise. So are you, you know, working out, moving your body, but also in a way that's fun for you. So not necessarily super structured or super rigid, but it's good to have a structure at the same time so that you're motivated and you have a routine. So let's say that might look like, you know, having a workout schedule, like maybe aiming to go to the gym three times a week or five times a week, but then also having, giving yourself that permission to take a day off when you don't feel like going or, you know, to switch it up instead of going to the gym, just going to the beach, um, you know, just switching it up. That's what balance means, having that routine and also that flexibility. And so what other ways can you have that routine and that flexibility? Um, for me personally, that shows up a lot in my morning routines because I love my morning routines. I really, um, you know, I thrive from waking up every morning knowing that I'm going to drink coffee first thing in the morning and um, journal. And after that, I will probably meditate if I have time. Mostly I do. Um, but then that's again where, you know, balance comes in because that is my routine. I do it every single day. But on days, maybe I have somewhere to get to. Maybe I have a brunch I need to get to or I have an appointment, early appointment in the morning or I've been traveling, you know, and I cannot do my routine and I can only drink coffee or I can only just write down one sentence in my journal, it's okay. I give myself that permission to have a flowy morning, right? Sometimes. Um, this, I actually just like, you know, a side behind the scenes thing is that sometimes when I'm with my sister, um, you know, we, we love partying. <laughs> um, so sometimes we'd party and then the next morning, I don't really feel like waking up and, you know, journaling or meditating. I just want to get into bed with her and maybe this is like too much information, but you know, it's just a girly thing. And then we just, you know, look, talk or chat in the morning with a warm cup of tea and I don't really drink tea in the morning. So it's like different from my routine, but it's another source of joy. And so there's that thing about balance again, you know, you give yourself permission to sometimes get out of the routine to do something else that really lights you up or really aligns with you in the moment. Um, another sort of way to balance your life is look at your life and see, okay, are you too structured or are you too spontaneous? Where can you find balance in that? You know, maybe, maybe you have like your whole month planned out, like you're going to go to work and then you have this weekend and then you're going to go on this trip or you're going to go to the salon, whatever. But because your entire schedule is filled up, you have no 
place for a spontaneous road trip or a spontaneous, you know, um, moment to watch the sunset with your friends or a spontaneous breakfast date, you know, something random. Um, if something comes up, you know, go to an art exhibition or a pop-up store or something like that, right? So look at your life and see, okay, where can you add some more spontane spontaneity or maybe you're on the opposite spectrum and maybe you need to add some more routine and more structure so you you can you can take that call right you add that balance um and a lot of this actually relates to this other point which is just balancing the masculine and the feminine which is essentially the masculine is the structure and the feminine is the flow um and so balancing that as well balancing those energies in your life not just with routine and structure but and flow like like not just in the schedules but you know where do you spend time doing versus being and i go into the masculine and feminine energies a lot in my other video which um i will link in the description below but you know just balancing those energies in your daily life um how can you be more emotional or how can you be more logical um how can you balance those two right so there's all this give and take and and finally one more very 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 important one that i wanted to touch upon is the the balance between self-discipline and self self-compassion and this is where a lot of us i think get stuck up a lot of us are just like either one way or the other either too disciplined on ourselves, and that goes to just being very critical about ourselves and always pushing ourselves and always judging ourselves you know so that would look like let's say you had a goal to finish a, a book you're writing um by the week and you didn't do it and so you might be like okay you know i can't believe i didn't do it i'm so lazy i i'm so worthless i i can't even do this much i wasn't productive enough my goal was to write 10 pages every day and i just didn't even write one page you know and you get overly critical about yourself right versus you might be so uh compassionate towards yourself where it's actually just you're just excusing yourself like making up excuses where you're like oh i was sick oh you know i didn't feel like and i just want to take care of my health and I, you know, it's okay. Like I can just do it later. I'm, I'm prioritizing myself and see, I'm putting it in quotations because you're not really prioritizing yourself. It's just an excuse. So that's like those extreme levels that are unhealthy, but the true balance would be assessing. Okay. Let's say you have a goal to sit down and write 10 pages today or every day. And today you just really don't feel like it. So in this case, balance would be really assessing okay why is it that you don't feel like it and is this i don't feel like it because of a true a valid need maybe you need some rest maybe you didn't sleep enough last night maybe you you know something really difficult is happening in your life and it's really causing you emotional um you know turmoil and you can't focus is it something like that or is it just you know you're just procrastinating or being lazy and out of love you can see what would be better for you discipline or compassion but the key is to look at both through the lens of love because when you love yourself you will discipline yourself if it's just being lazy and being and procrastinating you will be like okay you know what i need to love myself and and work towards my goals and push myself a little bit a little bit of tough love just a little bit just like you would discipline a child out of love or maybe when you recognize that you actually do need rest or you know you need something you need to take a break then you will do that out of love as well you will show yourself compassion and say you know out of love i know that i need uh, a five minute break right now or today i just am not up to it and that's okay because i'm doing this out of love right so that's where the balance lies and it's a beautiful 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 balance and i think the idea of balance is really where I, you know, how I live my life and you can, it's, it's your choice really to decide how to balance your life. Maybe you check in every day. So maybe you want to like, you know, make sure your whole day is balanced. So a little bit of structure, a little bit of flow, some spontaneousness and some like scheduling, you know, balance everything like that and some masculine energies at certain times and feminine energies at certain other times that's fine or maybe you want to do the same thing but over a week or over two weeks i think over a month would be like too much um 
but you know what I mean? Like you can decide. Maybe maybe you're the type of person who likes being very like structured for three days in a row and then very free for three days after that. Or maybe you need like the morning super structured and the afternoons really chill. Um, but you you get to decide that. But really it's it's again balance balance whenever you're feeling off or feeling a little stressed or anxious or depressed or sad or blah whenever you're feeling basically not in harmony and peace then assess okay what areas of my life can i bring balance to what areas am i maybe ignoring or i'm going in a little extreme version of that i can come back to the center and I can pour back into uh, myself so I can feel at balance and feel at peace, right? So I hope this video helps you because it's really, if you just keep this one, one like aspect in your mind balance and you can really, really thrive in life. This is my true belief. Like I really, really, <laughs> as I'm just saying really, really, but you know, it really does help me. Um, especially to to be at balance. So uh, yeah, just, you know, take care of yourself and, and, and come back to balance, whatever that balance is for you. Um, and this is why I feel like, you know, all these like necessarily rules and things like, oh, six tips to be happy don't really necessarily work because it depends on you. You need to reach your balance and you need to be have that wisdom to identify what that balance is and that wisdom usually comes from awareness um, you know just noticing paying attention um, building your self-awareness essentially so yeah work on that and if you have any questions then let me know and if you liked this video then do put a thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet because I love creating content for you guys and every every person who subscribes i feel so happy you know when the little notification thing goes one one new subscriber i'm like yay i'm so happy i can keep doing this i can keep you know creating content and sharing what works for me and um and just sharing some love and positivity into the world and hope and because i think you know like even this topic like balance it's 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 going to help you maybe it's not going to help everyone else around you but the thing is, it does help everyone else around you. That's what I wanted to say, actually, because when you're at balance, you're going to be more at peace. You're going to be more at ease. You're going to be in harmony with yourself. So you're going to be less stressed. You're going to be less snappy. You're going to be less angry. You're going to be less irritated. And, you know, that negative energy, then you won't put on others. And that's going to spread a chain reaction of you know less and less hurt less and less negativity and each person you affect positively will affect someone else positively as well but if you affect someone negatively they will probably affect someone negatively as well um like not very directly but but you know like just the, the chains of hurt that we start well i don't think we started but we can break it so break this chain of hurt take care of yourself that's really why i feel like personal development self-improvement is so important so that you can take yourself i mean take care of yourself heal yourself and then heal the rest of the people around you as well um but that's really not what this video was about <laughs> so anyways if you have any questions do put them in the comments um and yeah let me know in the comments below like where what areas of your life do you think that you need to balance a little bit more um i'd love to know and you know i can share some ideas or suggestions if you would like that um but yeah so take care and uh, we'll chat soon